Today I will talk about bisection method for solving nonlinear equation. So here that nonlinear equation is given that fx is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So now using bisection method I can easily find the root of the equation. Now what is bisection method? So bisection method is a numerical root finding algorithm that works by repeatedly dividing an interval in a half. Given an equation fx is equal to 0 an interval a and b where fa and fb have opposite signs the bisection method proceeds as follows means so this is suppose a, a and this is b point so here fa and fb means at point a fa and point b fb if they have the opposite signs then bisection method will work so how it will work first compute the midpoint of c so c c is nothing but a plus b a plus b by 2 that is c and then if c is equal to 0 then c is a root now here this is fc if fc is equal to 0 then c is the root so c is the root of the equation if fc and fa so fc and fa have the opposite sign that interval now the root lies between a to c other is if fc and fb is a, have the opposite sign so then the root lies between c to b now repeat the step 1 to 3 until desired accuracy is achieved. Now here is the example. The example is given here. So fx is equal to 2x cube minus 2x minus 5. So we have to find the approximate root of the equation in the interval 2 and 3. First starting point we have to take that is a and b point. So first we have to find out fa and fb. So now first find out fa. fa is nothing but f2 so that is negative so this is negative and if I evaluate fb so f of 3 so that is nothing but 16 so 3q minus 2 into 3 minus 5 16 so that is positive okay so root lies between a to b now first we have to find out the midpoint c so suppose midpoint c is here so that is a plus b by 2 so that is 2.5 2 plus 3 by 2 2.5 now we have to find fc fc means so that is 2.5 q minus 2 into 2.5 minus 5 so that is fc so this is c point and fc is positive now this positive and positive no root in the root now here fa and fc the negative and positive so root lies between where root lies between a to so here a to c so so since fc is negative so that update interval is a, a to c so now if a value is 2 and c value is 2.5 so root lies between 2 and 2.5 now similarly we have to do the same uh, the step 2 to 4 until the desired level of accuracy now again so i am giving all these details here so now number of iteration here a and b and then c and fc now first we have to calculate that root lies interval is 2 and 3 so first we have to calculate at iteration number 1 a is equal to 2 so f a is negative f b 3 so now i am calculating f b so that is 16 so that is positive now find out c a plus b by 2 so that is 2.5 and f c that is positive so now this is positive this is positive and this is negative so root lies between 2 to 2.5 so c 2.5 so now b become c so that is 2.5 now we already know f a that is negative 2.5 so f of 2.5 so that is positive and i first so root lies between 2 to 2.5 so now we have to find out that c c is 2.25 now again f of 2.5 this is positive so this is positive this is negative so root light between lies between 2 to 2.5 so here so b become 2.25 so now again this is negative this is 2.25 f of 2.25 this positive now find out the midpoint 2 and 2.25 so that is 2.215 so that is positive okay now so root lies between this and this now next that root lies between 2 and 2.2125 now again we have to so this is positive at fb 2.125 that is positive so c will be 2.0625 so fc will be negative 
so again root lies between that c and a so for iteration number five so this is so this is sorry this is negative okay so this is negative so this is negative so and this is positive so root lies between b to c so now this is the c that a becomes c so that is 2.0625 and b become 2.125 now again midpoint 2.0938 okay so this is that midpoint now here if you see here that fc is minus 8.94 e to the power minus 0 3 means it is a desired value so this is negative so if you continue on that we can continue but as it is a desired value achieved so root of the equation is nothing but 2. Point 0 0.938 that is the root so that is that the way we can do the bi bisection method means desired value means if f of c less than something 1 e to the power minus 3 so this is the desired accuracy level so at that point of c is the root of the equation that's it